Hey, what's up guys? Tomorrow I'm gonna to be doing some catfishing. So I'm gonna rig up one of my rods with the triple CD rig by Triple CD Anglers. Uh, you can see it's uh, pretty extravagant. It's got a 10 out hook here with a bead, rattle, bead, rattle, bead, and then it's got a spook here. And then you have about two feet of leader that goes down to a swivel. Um, I just tied the swivel on. It actually does come with this swivel here and then also a, a three-way swivel. The only thing you do need is your sinker and then you'll need uh, another bead uh, when you attach it to your main line. So you're gonna see different versions of this online. There's some with a float, some with a spook. Uh, they used to call this, I think the Chunky Cat rig, but now it's, they just call it the Triple CD rig. And then I also bought Chunky's, Chunky Cat's version which just has a different spook and the rattles look a little bit different. And of course it's um, fluorescent line as opposed to the clear, but I'm gonna try both and see how they work, but I'm gonna tie on this uh, triple city rig to my line or to this rod at least. So to rig it up, all you gotta do is take your main line. This is my line here. This is a 50 pound braid and I have my Sinker here, this is a three ounce null roll. I may have to go up depending on the current because we got a lot of rain um, recently and the river's gonna be pretty uh, high and probably muddy as well. So I've got that threaded through the null roll and you're gonna also wanna have a bead just, just to protect your knot when you tie off to your uh, swivel. So we're gonna put this bead on right here And then I've got my swivel that's going up to the spook and everything and the hook. So the knot I'm going to use to tie off to the swivel is it's just going to be a uh, uni knot. So I'm just going to pass it through the swivel. And then I'm going to double over the line like so. Then I'm going to make a loop underneath. And then I'm just going to go around both lines and through the loop like six or seven times. So that's lucky number seven. And then I'm just going to take the tag end here and I'm going to slowly cinch this down. And it should make a barrel knot like so. So now we have that barrel knot, and then I'm just gonna pull it tight. You'll see that knot just slides down to this to the swivel. And then there you go. Now this is all rigged up. I'm just gonna pull on the tag end, and then we're gonna cut this tag end off. And then that's it. So now I've got my main line. Pull all this out. So I've got my main line with the no roll sinker. And then there's the bead. So that's why we have that bead there, just to protect that knot from the sinker hitting it. So this will lay on the bottom, and then you can see how it slides. And you've got your spook. So the spook is going to allow the bait to suspend in the water column. So this is suspend maybe about two feet off. Um, then once you tighten your line, that's going to stay there and then your spook will float up. So we're going to try this tomorrow, see how well it works. I may have to downsize the hook because I'm not sure how big the fish are going to be in the river. But um, if you guys are interested in the triple city rig i'll have a link to it below and uh i'll let you guys know how i do it tomorrow so uh wish me luck